good one. Am I out on another day hike as you can probably tell? Uh, I hope I'm not walking around the town like this. Um, similar place where I've been before, but um, I'm just testing out some new gear. I've got the tent with me this time. New tent. Uh, crossbow as well. It's basically a pistol crossbow that I've uh, SBR'd, I suppose, for want of a better term. <laughs> so that's, that's what's hanging over that shoulder there. <laughs> but basically, the same kit I've got on my bug out uh, kit video. Um, with the addition of the tent, sleeping bag, crossbow, uh, some knife upgrades. We'll check it out. Well, I'm glad I didn't pitch my tent underneath that. semi track going on. Bit of a cliff edge to the right. Uh, I've been down there before. Um, I think that's down there is where Sepp was inquiring about some chaga that I thought I'd found but hadn't. <laughs> but there's a lot of downed uh, birch. Loads of birch trees down there. It's like a little mini valley thing going on down there. Well, if any of you have watched the um, birch tree fungus polypore video on my channel, you'll, uh, or you, you may or may not remember this horizontal tree that was growing out. It's snapped off now. Um, it's down there. So it was about a year ago when I was here. And um, there's that crag edge. Um, you can just see bang in the centre of the screen there, that little white blob. There's a bit of polypore there. Don't particularly need it though. I've got myself settled in now. Well, I haven't constructed anything yet, but I've selected a spot. I've got that overhanging branch there that gives me a kind of a, a natural vestibule, if I want of a better term. Relatively flat area there that I'm going to pitch the tent. Uh, the wind's a lot less here because uh, it's having to make its way through the entire forest before it gets to me. Because I'm on the uh, I'm on the downwind side of edge of the forest, I suppose. Right, let's have a quick uh, look at what additional things I've brought then. Uh, a couple of knives that I didn't really need to bring, but I wanted to test anyway. Um, and that is the, uh, this is the Ganzo, if you've uh, seen the Last Boy Scouts channel reviewing the Ganzo 710, that bench made ripoff. Um, this is another one by that company. Um, G10 handles, or plastic as I like to call them. <laughs> uh, not bad, 440 stainless of course. Uh, axis lock. Yes. Give that a test out anyway. Um, what's the other one I brought as well? Didn't really need to bring these two knives, but uh, kind of backups. Uh, this is a Nakura army style knife it's called. This is available from Blades and Bows. It's only a tenner. Uh, no, it's eight quid actually. Eight pounds, which is probably about uh, fifteen dollars or something. Not bad, hollow ground, extremely thin blade. So like a razor. Uh, weak blade, but good for cutting, uh, I suppose, fish and things like that would be good for. Uh, of course, uh, I've got my uh, tent and sleeping bag kit with me. Um, there is a Gellert Solo tent on the bottom there, and a, a Gellert Freedom 250. Um, pretty warm sleeping bag. One of the most expensive sleeping bags I could uh, I could bring myself to buy. Probably like a 65, 70 quid sleeping bag. Um, and the tent was uh, 30 quid. Yeah, so that's probably about 55 dollars, I suppose. Um, let's get it out anyway. Stop waffling about it and put it up. Um, I'm going to set it up over here, like I was saying. Right, here we go then. So uh, there's my sleeping bag. I won't bother getting it out. It's just a sleeping bag. <laughs> um, but uh, as well as the tent, uh, in the same uh, waterproof bag that the tent goes in, 
I have also uh, an airbed, sleeping bag liner, and uh, some clothes, which is basically a pair of long johns, uh, spare socks, and t-shirt to sleep in. Um, so cool. I'm going to lay it on a uh, just a cheap tarp to protect the tent. Um, but there's the tent. Uh, I've got some uh, normal steel tent pegs with it, um, but I've uh, bought a set of titanium ones. Uh, they were quite expensive, but they don't weigh anything. Um, in fact, they'll probably blow away in the wind. <laughs> um, but I've brought the steel ones along as well, just in case I needed some extras. Uh, but subsequently, they will be uh, jettisoned. Right, let's have a quick look around the tent before I put the fly on, um, so you can see it a little bit more. It kind of overhangs the uh, the tarp I've put down, so it's a little bit longer than six foot. It's obviously about eight foot long, perhaps eight and a half. Let's go on the other side. Total mesh walls on the sides. Um, you can completely see right through. Uh, you can see my airbed inside there. Yeah, I'll give you another angle. Well, and there she is, home sweet home. I've got the bed set up now, let's have a look. Um, you can't really... Oh, there's a fair amount of room around the head. Um, you can slide the whole bed set up about 10 inches up and down. So, safe to say it's 10 inches longer than need be. Um, right, I'm uh, going to be burning birch. There's a birch tree over there that's snapped in the wind and there's loads of wood available, I'm buzzing. Right. I'm, uh, I'm also liking this silky fox saw and um, the way that you can clip it up for upside down cutting um, for exactly this purpose. There you go. This is the business. Plenty of warmth from that fire there. That looks very cosy. Well, the fire's going nicely now. And the old coffee on. Well, it will be in a minute when that wa uh, water boils. I'm just hanging from the tree. Yeah, uh, uh, you can't really see it anyway. Um, just a small torch, a little flashlight dangling from the tree. Just on low setting. So give me a little bit of uh, light in the area. I'll see if I can just... Oh. See if I can just illuminate it further. It's a bit better. Yeah, that's more like it. I mean, I'm using my torch now. It's completely black. That's how dark it is without the torch. Okay, and with the torch, a hey. right. So I've just got my jacket hung up there. There's my little sit area. A coffee cup there, ready to be, uh, ready to be filled. Almost boiling. Time for coffee. Right. 
let me uh, spoon a carved. Just give it a, a bit of a burn to give it a tiger stripe effect. Awesome. First uh, carving I did um, with my Mora spoon knife, um, just recently got. Um, but I did it in the living room watching TV, so I didn't bother filming it. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Let's check it out by the firelight then. Here she is. Just a teaspoon, really. Most useful size of spoon. There's my steak. Steak a la burn. <laughs> Rice bubbling away. Got some nice coals going on now. Check that out. That is one nicely done steak. And uh, it's also already attached to my fork, albeit a rather large one. <laughs> That's a tasty steak, that like. Mmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Come on. Yum, yum, yum.